Buenas noches. Hey, good evening. Um, well, so um, I see that we're, we will have to wait for the others. So I see that the others are connecting. Let's check here. So, uh, well, guys, welcome to this class. Another day, something new to learn. Uh, well, today we're going to start this course. And first of all, what I'm going to do is, can you everyone listen to me? Todos me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Great, thank you very much. So, um, well, I'm going to introduce myself. I see that the other classmates are connecting. So probably throughout the session or during the class, we are going to have some more students connected. So I just want to say welcome to another course, another module. Uh, as far as I know, you are in module number two, which is uh, your, which means that you already finished module number one. So you are moving to module number two. So just let me go ahead and check the information that I have for you, which is English beginner module number two. So uh, let me introduce myself. I'm going to show you a little bit about me and just let me, okay, here we are. Can everyone see, todos pueden ver la presentation? Hello. Can everyone see the presentation, guys? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you. So as you can see there, my name is Nelson Alonai Ramirez Martinez. I am going to be your facilitator during, during this, uh, this module. And uh, well, you can see a little bit of my information there. I speak English, I speak French, and I have a, a lot of experience in the call center area, also in English and French. I've been working with Inglés Corporativo for almost one year, so we're going to be here helping you out to, uh, uh, to learn something new. Remember, guys, if you have any question, if you do not understand something, please feel free to ask. No tengan miedo de preguntar, okay? Ask. If during the class you have a question or you do not understand something, ask, okay? I am going to be glad to help you. I am going to be here to help you out to understand. I am going to repeat if you do not understand. So feel free, okay? So we are going to be here, friends, learning English as much as we can. So... Don't, don't be afraid. Sin miedo, ¿verdad? So, once again, welcome to the ones that are already here. Thank you very much for your punctuality, for being always on time. Gracias por conectarse a tiempo, okay? So, guys, uh, another thing that I wanted to tell you before we start is that if you do not understand, si en algún momento no entienden algo, or I'm speaking too fast, let me know. Háganmelo saber, Okay. So I will try to slow down a little bit, eh, hablar un poco más despacio, so you can probably understand. If, uh, if the internet is not working, si me escuchan uh, cortado, that the audio is cut enough, please let me know. I'm going to saber so I can try to explain and I can look for any other options, okay? Please. Um, well, once again, welcome guys, and let's see what we have today to start. So um, today, guys, we are going to start 
our first class. And our first class is going to be about vocabulary. I'm pretty sure that you also saw a little bit of this vocabulary in the last module. Is that correct? Does any one of you remember? Alguien se acuerda de vocabulary about daily routines? Or no, not at all. No? No, I don't remember in this moment. You don't remember, okay, that's good. So does anyone else remember a little bit about vocabulary of daily routines or no? Well, um, also guys, before we continue, let me tell you, your participation will be taken into consideration. Si usted participa, se va a tomar en consideración. Si usted no participa, también se va a tomar en consideración. Why? Because hay algunas personas que solamente se quedan ahí como que son ghosts, como que son fantasmas. No, the reason why we're here, guys, la razón por la que estamos acá es porque queremos aprender el idioma. So if you do not participate, means, significa que usted no quiere aprender. So let's try to participate as much as we can. So les voy a pedir a todos en algún momento de la clase que participen, eh, que practiquemos nuestra pronunciación. Eso desde ya se lo digo. Les voy a corregir bastante su pronunciación. And the reason why I'm doing this, la razón por qué lo hago es porque quiero que aprendan the correct pronunciation of the words in English, okay? So we are going to work a lot. Vamos a trabajar bastante en eso. So um, once again, if I ask you to participate, please try to participate. Even though you don't know how to say things, aunque no sepa cómo decir algo, say it, dígalo, practice it. Eh, de esa manera aprendemos. Si usted se equivocó, Lo corregimos, lo practicamos, y lo aprendemos. That's the reason why we're going to do in this class, okay? So please, guys, try to participate as much as we can and try to practice as much as we can because that's the reason why we're here. So um, as I was saying, well, I can see the more people just connected. Welcome, guys. I can see, well, I just can see... Bueno, solamente una persona tiene activada su cámara, which is Christian. So thank you very much, Christian. Um, well, that's fine. So I see that we are 10, 11 people, including me. So 10 in total. So we're going to start, guys. As you can see, vocabulary about daily routines. So as I was saying before, I'm pretty sure that some of you already know a little bit about this. So we're just gonna go directly to the vocabulary. First of all, uh, it's very important that you know what is a routine. So we're going to have a small definition of that. And I will ask someone of you to help me read. Can I have uh, two volunteers? If you want to participate, say me. Okay, so I will understand that you want to participate. If nobody wants to participate, I will select anyone randomly. Okay, so either or you will have to participate. Okay, that's a fact. So volunteers. No se peleen mucho, solo uno quiero. Just one. Yo, teacher. You, Rodrigo. Okay, Rodrigo, go ahead and help me reading this part till the period. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, what is a routine? Mm -hmm. A routine is the usual series of mm -hmm. things that you do at a particular time. A routine is also the practice of regularly doing this in a official order. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. Now, let me read it to you. And now pay attention to the pronunciation of some words. We say, what is a routine? A routine is a usual series of things 
that you do at a particular time. A routine is also the practice of regularly doing things in a fixed order, okay? So what does it mean? Are things that you do every day, cosas que hacen todos los días, and as it says, fix in a particular or in order, que la hacemos en orden. For example, usted no se va a, a comer y luego se, se baña. Well, yes, it happens, right? But another example is that uh, usted no primero se baña y después se despierta. No, we don't do that. So we follow a order, seguimos un order. So that's, that's what we call it, a routine. Something that we are going to follow the order, okay? So uh, as you can see, we have an image here about some examples that you are going to see later on. As I said before, this is more vocabulary, so we are going to practice a lot your pronunciation. So welcome to the ones that just got connected to the session, welcome. I see more people coming in and uh, well, that's good. So do you know, uh, I guess you are like 20 students and we just have 13 today. Um, for the ones that just got connected, guys, just let me tell you that if you do not understand something I'm saying, let me know. Hágamelo saber si no entienden algo. If you do not, uh, if you think that I'm speaking too fast, Estoy hablando demasiado rápido, let me know so I can try to slow down. Okay, please. So we're going to go directly, guys, to the vocabulary. And here we have a list of routines. What I need you to do, guys, lo que necesito que hagamos is the following thing. Es lo siguiente. I am going to repeat, voy a repetir cada palabra tres veces, three times. Repítalo usted en su casa, ahí detrás de la, de la pantalla, if you're using your cell phone, if you're using a computer, whatever. Um, then, les voy a preguntar a todos. Everyone is going to participate. So, that's the reason why. Es por eso que quiero que lo practiquen. Yo lo digo, usted lo repite en su casa. Okay? It's not necessary that you have to turn your microphone on. No, it's not necessary. When I ask you, you participate. Once again, we are going to practice pronunciation a lot. Vamos a practicar la pronunciación mucho. It's very important that you know how to pronunciate things, okay? So once again, I repeat it three times. Lo repito tres veces. You pay attention, prestan atención. And then I ask you. Le voy a preguntar a todos al azar. So be ready and pay attention. So let's start. Empezamos with this part right here. So we say, do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Hang the clothes. Iron the clothes. Iron the clothes. Make the bed, make the bed, make the bed. Go to bed, go to bed, go to bed. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Brush the teeth, brush the teeth. Brush the teeth. Now, um, before we continue, I want to tell you something about this. Quiero decirles algo acerca de eh, esto. TH, guys, most of the time, la mayoría de veces, TH va a sonar en pronunciación como una letra Z. Z de nuestro español. Ok, so... La mayoría de veces. There are some exceptions. Hay algunas excepciones that we are going to see later on. Pero como, uh, como inicio, cada vez que usted vea una TH, recuerde, 
usted va a pronunciar feta, como en español. Aire nada más, el sonido. So we say brush the teeth. Drive to work. Drive to work. Get home. Get home. Get home. Take a bath. Take a bath. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Brush your hair. Surf the net. Surf the net. Surf the net. And the last one, play with friends. Play with friends. Play with friends. Now, I don't want to mention a name. No voy a mencionar un nombre ahorita. I want a volunteer. Voluntarios. If you want to participate, say me. Digan me, okay? Alejandra, okay, I can see that you raise your hand. So Alejandra, can you please go ahead and help me, Alejandra, with number one, number two, and number three. Go ahead. Go to the school. No, 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 this one here. Ah, the primero, perdón, perdón. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do the laundry mm -hmm. and the clothes. Okay. Iron the clothes. Thank you very much. So Alejandra Ariola. Thank you for your participation. And now, another volunteer. No? Okay, so Cristian Lopez. Oh, you raise your hand and I was gonna ask you. A pregunta, so we're okay. So Cristian, go ahead, Cristian. Um, make the bed, make the bed. Okay. Go to the bed. Okay. And wake up. Thank you very much, Christian. Now, can I have another volunteer, another person? Hi, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, so we have, uh, who else? We have Carlos and who else? Carlos. Bruce, the fish, drive to work, get home. Get home. Okay. Thank you very much, Carlos. Someone else? Alguien más? Me, teacher. Luis. Okay, Luis. Go ahead, Luis. Take a bath. Brush your hair. Surf the net. And the last one. También la última. Place with friends. Thank you very much. So, uh, tomamos en consideración the part la participación de Christian, Luis, we also have Rodrigo, and who else was? Um, ah, Alejandra, okay. So we have uh, those. Thank you very much, guys, for that. Now, any question? Alguien tiene una duda? Any question about vocabulary? Something that you do not understand, algo que no entienda from the, from the vocabulary, or is it all understandable? Está todo entendible? Are we okay? Well, silence says more than a thousand words. Como dicen por ahí, el silencio dice más que mil palabras. So we're going to move on to this part. So, in this part, guys, also what I'm going to do once again, lo que voy a hacer una vez más, I will make the pronunciation now dos veces, two times, and then you pronounce it, lo pronuncian en casa, and then I will ask you. Ahora sí les voy a preguntar, okay? Now, we go with the first one, go to school, or algunas... Eh, Algunas personas, los americanos, tienden a decir go to, cuando hablan rápido, go to school, go to school. So, but, si usted se siente more comfortable, más tranquilo saying go to school, that's okay. So, it's okay. As long as you pronounce the word correctly. Tanto como usted pronuncia bien las palabras, that's going to be okay, okay? So, go to school or go to school. Go shopping, go shopping. Exercise, exercise. Wash the car, wash the car. Get dressed, 
get dressed. Go out with a friend. Go out with a friend. Take pictures. Take pictures. Play the guitar. Play the guitar. Water the plant. Water the plant. Go for a walk. Go for a walk. Here, I want to make emphasis on this one. Quiero hacer emphasis en esta. Porque la mayoría de personas la pronuncia como walk. Walk or walk. No, guys. In English, we do not pronunciate it in that way. La L nunca se pronuncia, ¿ok? Y la A no suena como A, sino como O. So we say walk. Go for a walk. Como China walk. Something like that. So work, work, have breakfast, have breakfast, have lunch, have lunch. Okay, now I'm going to ask, let me see, Gabriela Salinas. Gabriela, go ahead, please, and help me with number one, number two, and number three. Go to a school, mm -hmm. go Mm. This one? Go, sh go shopping. Go shopping. Shopping. Mm -hmm. shopping. Y la otra es exercise. Exercise. Thank you very much, Gabriela. We're going to go with Carmen Garcia. Go ahead, Carmen. Help me with this, this, and this. Okay, uh, wash the car, get dress, dress, okay. Okay. go and greet a friend, friends. Okay, that, that was good. Thank you very much. Now, let's see, we're going to go with Doris Lisette Correas. Doris? Hi. Hello there. So help me with this one, this one, and this one. Go ahead, please. Um, take pictures. Pictures, okay. This one? Play the guitar. Play the guitar, guitar, okay. This one? Water the plant. Water the plant. Thank you very much. Now uh, we're going to go with Rocio Funes. Rocio. Hi. Hey there. Uh, go for a walk. Okay. Walk. Okay. Hey, break breakfast. Okay. The last one, I will do. Okay, lunch. Okay, this one we say have, have, no hey, have. 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 Thank you. Have now, thank you very much, Rocio. Thank you, um, Wells, Doris, and also Carmen and Gabriela. Thank you very much. Now, for the others, para los demás, is there any question, any word, alguna palabra that we that you didn't understand? No? Well, so I'm going to guess, voy a entender que you guys understood it all. So I'm going to move on. And this is part number two. Ya tenemos parte número dos. Now, we're gonna do the same thing. Vamos a hacer la misma situación. I will repeat it, lo repito dos veces. You repeat it at home. Lo repiten en su casa. And then I ask you, les pregunto. Now, let's see. We have have dinner, make dinner, fold the laundry, fold the laundry, surf the net, surf the net, feed the dog, feed the dog, take a taxi, take a taxi, wait for the boss. Wait for the bus. Paint the picture. Paint the picture. Have breakfast. 
No, have a break, I'm sorry, and take a break. What is the difference in this one, guys? The difference is that in the United States, in los Estados Unidos, people say take a break, para referirse a tomarse un descanso. But in UK, in el Reino Unido, they say have a break. That's the only difference. Pero at the end, the meaning is still the same. El significado es el mismo. The only that changes is the verb. El único cambio es, is the verb, but the meaning is going to be the same. Now, uh, let's see. Let's have the participation of Mr. Herbert Rodriguez. Herbert? Hello? Herbert? Well, I think he's not there, probably. Now, let's see Carlos Roberto. Hi, teacher. Hello there. So can you please help me with the number one, number two, and number three? Okay. Have dinner. Mm -hmm. Make dinner. Okay. Fold the laundry. Thank you very much, Roberto. Now let's go with Claudia Maria. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Hello. Oh. Hello. oh, I'm sorry. Let me see you, Claudia. I heard someone saying, I'm sorry, Herbert, are you there? Okay. Este, si gusta, eh, que siga la señorita, teacher. Después de ella, yo voy a pronunciar, no hay problema. Oh, all right, okay. Thank you very much, Claudia. Go ahead. Su, Janet. Su, Janet. Su, Janet. Take, It was good, Claudia. En la única que escuché ahí fue surf. We don't say surf, we say surf. Surf. Sure. Okay. okay, great. Thank you very much, Claudia. Herbert, let's go, Herbert. Why? Eh, no, pardon. They and the taxi. Mm -hmm. Why for the bobs? Mm -hmm. Pain in the picture. Mm -hmm. The last one. Heavy, heavy break. Mm -hmm. Take and break. Okay. We only have, uh, solo te escuché, uh, we don't say white, we say wait. Wait for the This books. one, the same was have, have a break. Have. Okay. Have break. Thank you very much have for wait. the ones that already participated. Now, preguntas, questions, todo está claro? Claro como el agua? Well, I'm going to take that as a yes. Remember, guys, that las cosas que vemos acá, eh, va a haber un momento del curso en el que les voy a hacer un examen. So, si usted no pregunta, yo asumo que usted entendió. So, si hiciéramos un examen mañana del vocabulario, supongo que todos lo entendieron, ya que nadie hace preguntas. So, I'm going to take that as understood, Okay. So now let's move on to part number two. Vamos a mover a la parte número dos. And in this part, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to repeat it. Then I ask the others, okay? After that, guys, we are going to obviously move on to the practice because remember, in this part, we need to, to learn, to listen to the pronunciation of things. And also we need to practice. Now I'm going to go with this part. Walk, remember, I told you, this one, no decimos walk, ni walk. We say walk, walk, walk the dog, take out the rubbish, sweep the floor, sweep the floor, rake the leaves, rake the leaves, read the news, read the news, clean the window, Clean the window, cut the grass, cut the grass, do the dishes, do the dishes, paint the house, paint the house. Now, let's see um, who has not participated yet. Georgina, Georgina Coralia. Hello, Georgina. Hello. Okay, help me with number one, two, and three. Go ahead. Okay. Walk, 
the dog. Great. Take all the rubbish. Great. Sweep the floor. Great, excellent. That was good. Thank you very much, Georgina. And now, uh, let's see Tony. Tony Romero. Are you there, Tony? Hello. Hello, hello. Well, he's probably not there. Now, let's see. Who haven't I asked you? Quien no le he preguntado yet? Oh, I guess everyone participated. Rocio, did I ask you already? Yes. Okay, Rocio, help me, please, with this number four, five, and six. Great, delay, delay. Excellent, great. Read the names. Mm -hmm. Clean the windows. Excellent, thank you very much, Rocio. That was a good pronunciation. Now, for the last part, for las últimas cuatro, can I have a volunteer? Volunteer. No volunteers? Me, teacher. Okay, Rodrigo. Go ahead, Rodrigo. Okay, clean the window. Mm -hmm. Cut the grass. Okay. Do the dishes. Okay. Paint the house. That was good. Thank you very much, Rodrigo. Now, is there any question, guys, so far? Por ahora todo bien? So far, so good? Are we good with the vocabulary or you have any questions so far? Take, take off the rubbish. The rubbish. Take, ¿Qué, qué significa? It means sacar la basura. Take out the rubbish. Mm. So this one, uh, rubbish, is a synonym. It's a synonym of trash. Porque basura también podemos decir trash. Or we can say rubbish. Cualquiera de las dos. Trash and rubbish, those are synonyms. So you can say take out the, the trash or take out the rubbish. And it's going to be the same thing. Va a ser lo mismo. So any other question? Alguien más? Does someone has any other question? Or are we clear? Or estamos claros? So far. Um, what is fold the laundry? Fold the laundry is what you do is uh, doblar la ropa. Doblar la ropa, la que usted recién lavó. The laundry. Fold the laundry. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. All right. So anyone else? Alguien más? Or are we clear? Well, okay, so I'm gonna take that as a clear. So here we're gonna have some examples y vamos a tener el siguiente orden. Rodrigo, go ahead with number one, lees el vocabulary, and then you read the sentence. El vocabulario, luego la pregunta. Rodrigo, you are the number one. Go ahead, please. Okay, and uh, do the laundry. I often do the laundry on Saturday mor morning. Excellent, thank you very much. Now, number two, let's go with Rocio Funix. Hang the clock. You should hang the clock when the sun shines. Excellent, that was good. Thank you, Rodrigo and Rocio, that was a good pronunciation. Now we're going to move on to another example. And number three is going to be for, uh, for Carlos Roberto. Go ahead, Carlos. Okay, iron the cloth. My mom loves iron the cloth. Okay, thank you very much. Now number four, Herbert Rodriguez. Make the bed. We are. Uh, this one we say that taught. We are taught. Taught. Mm -hmm. We are taught to make the bed after gaining how. Thank you very much. Now let's going to move on. This one, Christian Lopez. Okay. Go to bed. 
go to bed late will ha will have bad effect to our health. Excellent. Thank you very much. Carmen Garcia. Uh, what, what, what up? Wake up. Wake up. I often wake up at six o'clock in the morning. Excellent, Carmen. Thank you very much. Now let's move on with Gabriela Salinas. Gabriela? Yes, the first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, brush the teeth. Uh, brush the teeth. Mm -hmm. The doctor has to brush the teeth with a knife. Twice a day. Okay. Thank you very much, Gabriela. Now we move on to Doris Lisef. Go ahead, Doris. Drive to work. Mm -hmm. My father sometimes drive to work instead of taking a bus. That was good, Doris. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to this part. Claudia Maria. Okay. Okay. Uh, take home. Mm -hmm. It's time to take home. Excellent. Now, Rocio. Rocio Funes. Hey, Rocio. Hey. Okay. Take a bath. Mm -hmm. When exactly? When did you last take a bath? Okay. Great. And we're going to go to the last part, and it is for Carlos Roberto. Brush, brush your hair. Do not brush your hair with too much force. Okay, we don't say, no decimos brush, Carlos. We say brush, brush. brush. Okay, okay, great. Brush. Now, Luis Chavez, let's go with the next one. Surf the neck. Uh, surf it. The net looking for ways to study. Okay. Now we're going to move on with uh, Georgina Corali. Play with friends. One day while playing with my friends, I accidentally broke a window in a eastern near or home okay now uh from this por todas las que acabamos de ver from all these examples is there any word hay alguna palabra that you did not understand guys i'm going to play them all voy a pasar todas so you let me know if there's any word that you do not understand, or if you understood, understood everything, that's great, that's perfect. So from this part, did you understood it all? Great. This part, is everything okay with this? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Now from this one. All right, so with this one. Okay, and this one. All right, and the last one, which is this one. I guess everything was pretty understandable. So there's no um, necessity of repeating everything else. Now, uh, Georgina, I see that you raised your hand. Yes, Regina, have any question? Uh, 
¿Cómo es la pronunciación de accidente? Oh, no, this accident. one. Accident. This one, you mean? Accidentally. Yes. Accidentally. Accidentally. That's the way. So we say one day while playing with my friends, I accidentally broke a window in a store near our home. Okay, so that's, thank you very much for asking the pronunciation of that, that's great. So if there's no any other question regarding to this, we are going to go directly to the practice class, okay? We have no questions, right? So we're gonna go to the practice. What I need you to do, guys, lo que necesito que hagan is that take a screenshot, tomar una captura de pantalla, screenshot, si están por, through the phone, if you're using your computer, you can also take a screenshot, tomar una captura, and then voy a pasar ejercicio número dos, okay? So exercise number two, you let me know. Me lo hacen saber so I can move. Can I move now? Hello. Yes, teacher. Yes or no? Well, I'm going to move on uh, either way, so. Yes, teacher. All right, so this is number two. So I guess you had enough time. We're going to move on to number three. This is number three. Remember, take a screenshot, or if you're using your computer, take a screenshot always, and uh, then these screenshots, we're gonna use it for working in the workout rooms, okay? So this is number three, let's move on to the last one. And this is number four. So I'm gonna stop sharing. And now, I guess everyone got the screenshot. Creo que todos tomaron captura de pantalla or at least a photo, I don't know, or something like that. Now, what we're gonna do, guys, is that I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Voy a crear los grupos para que todos vayan a trabajar en grupo. So what we're going to do in the first part Lo que vamos a hacer en la primera parte es obviously a conversation. And this conversation necesito que se vaya. Si son, if you're four, si son cuatro en el grupo, line number one, línea número uno, one person. Line number two, another person. Line number three, another person. And so on, and so on, and so on. So I need everyone to participate. Necesito que todos participen. So I'm going to be checking. Voy a estar verificando a todos en los grupos. So even though you don't see me, aunque no me vean, ahí voy a estar. So, um, let me see. Teacher, puede poner la última pantalla de nuevo, por favor. Let me go ahead and repeat it. Just one moment. Let me just check here. Last one. All right. Just let me share it here. So, here we have, so just let me put it in the full screen. Okay, here you have. All right, so I guess that's okay, right? So I'm going to stop sharing. In now we go to the rooms. So, La, la dos y la tres no la pude tomar, no salió movida. ¿No podría poner, por favor? Yeah, sure, no problem. So, just let me... Same teacher. Let me go ahead and... All right, so this is number... No, you said number, number two and number three, right? This is number two. Number two. And... You let me know. Yeah. 
This is number three. And now we're going to go to the breakout rooms. Okay, so just let me create them. We are 14, so it's going to be okay. And all right, so. I'll Please go ahead and join your rooms, please. Go ahead. What happened with you? ¿Qué sucedió con ustedes? Were you not able to connect? ¿Se pudieron conectar? Tony, Eric. Hello. Tony and Eric. What happened there? Hello. So what happened in this group? ¿Qué pasa en este grupo? I don't see anyone interacting. No veo a nadie interactuando. What's going on? Hola, hola. Eh, vamos a iniciar con el ejercicio 1, ¿verdad? Con la página 1. Ok. Eh, claro. Ok. Hello. I would like to know the price of a single room, please. Fifty pounds per night. Is breakfast included? Yes, breakfast is included. Okay, then I want a single room for four for night. Porque si fuera literal, este, no sé, va. Pienso, no sé. Sí, es cierto. Sí. Como hacer una oración. Ah, ok. Y que ¿Sí? tiene la, o sea, que pueda compartir la pantalla de una sola vez y lo completamos. Cabal, Porque... es cierto. Vaya, entonces vamos a ver quién va a compartir. Si querés compartir vos, Gerba. Eh, okay, permítame, quiero decirle a ella. Ok. A ver. <coughs> Pizarra, va. Él 
we pronounce on their one name show in market this reservation uh, um bill i guess i'm not going to pronounce it um this house of baby oh perdón Um, but but I learning. Mm, no problem. I have to leave you. How how are you? I am thirty. Where do you live? Live. I live. I live. I live in New York. Aquí. Mira, no sé si se ve algo. A ver. Sí, Pero, sí. <ríe> yo hice, yo, yo, yo lo tomé de esa manera porque es lo que yo pensé que era de trazarlo. De irlo asociando. Eh, de irlo asociando, digamos, Wake Up fue el primero que vi al señor levantándose. Y read the book y lo asocias a la chica que está leyendo abajo. Uh -huh. Y eh, con el único que más o menos tengo duda es este que dice high, the, high above, que es el de la mañera, que no sé si ese a half the above sería ese o take a shower porque hay uno que, pero no tengo ningún te allá. Uh -huh. okay. Yes, breakers is in the cloud. Yes, breakfast is include. Oh, then I want a single room for for a night. When would you like to reserve it? Reserve it. Reservation. Reservation. Wrong. Tuesday. My uh, thing. To Saturday. My uh, 14. Ya, no, no, pues, ya, ya sé cómo no. Vaya, ahí está. Ahí <risa> sí va. va ahí sí. Uh, bueno, bye. entonces, read the book. Sería el del último. Voy, espera. Bueno. No me hacía en computadora quién no, pues. Sí. <risa> aquí, aquí, aquí se ingenia, se la... Va, sería entonces Read Book, es el, el último. Es el, el último, último. Va. Vaya, Luego momento. Walk a Dog sería el que tiene el perro allí. A pasear el perro, que uh -huh. es este. Uh -huh. Y de ahí el Brush the Team, right. que es Brush, brush the, the Team, que es pierce los dientes. Mm -hmm. Make the bell. Make es hacer la cama, ordenar la cama, el dibujo de la cama. De la camita. Mm -hmm. Wash the car. Ay, el primero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Comienza, ajá. No, la primera no, igual me sale ahí lo del audio. Uh -huh. la, la primera dice Alex y dice, Hi David, it's nice to meet you. Eso es lo que dice la primera. Y la otra, uh -huh. ajá, dice, Hi Alex, nice to meet you too. Tú, I do not eh, 
speak it. English. Speak English. Speak English. Very well. Uy, casi no la tomé bien. But. But, at, but Ajá, I'm learning. Un, pedazo, un pedacito. Mm -hmm. But I am learning, dice. La siguiente Pero... sí la tomó bien. Uh -huh. eh, So did you finish the exercises, guys? Did you finish? Hi, teacher. Eh, el, el último ejercicio creo que nos hizo falta por lo menos a nosotros. Okay. El primero sí, ya lo, ya lo completamos. Okay, good. What about the others? Well, we're just going to wait. Vamos a esperar para los demás que vuelvan a la sesión. Okay. There they are. Okay. So, question for everyone. Did you complete the exercises, guys? Terminaron los ejercicios. Did you finish them? Yes. You did. Okay. No, a Vamos. nosotros nos faltó tiempo. Sí, <laughs> <laughs> la segunda. Okay. okay so, um, well, I was checking, estaba verificando ahí todos los grupos, and I see that some of you, algunos solo estuvieron ahí, literalmente sin decir ni una palabra. Some others were participating, were talking, hablando que es lo que hacían, aquí y allá, giving an opinion, at least. Some others were not there. So next time, para la próxima ocasión, I need everyone, please, participate. Try to practice. Okay. Uh, si alguien no sabe cómo se pronuncia algo y algún, alguno de sus compañeros sí sabe, try to help. Traten de ayudarse entre ustedes mismos. And then, si no saben, then you can ask me. Pueden preguntar so I can reconfirm. Puedo reconfirmar. So, uh, basically, that's going to be all for today, guys. Thank you very much for attending to the class today. And I will see you guys tomorrow at the same time by the same channel, okay? Have a good night, you all. Bye, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye.